okay so when you will click on uh, download new 4j you can just click here uh, to get new 4j desktop and uh, for the and then you you, you should follow this uh, these steps like they require you the basic information you should give them and uh, then you will see uh, the proper procedure this is a step by step guide you must have to follow them this is a license key uh, i already have installed so i will cancel it this is a license key you should you can also see the installation video you can also click on installation guide so there is a step by step procedure you can see uh, first of all you need to download and uh, then launch then put the the key to activate it and then uh, this is the screen this kind of screen would appear when you will click on it when you will start it you will click on here add graph then you will create a local graph and then you will give a your a name to your graph and the password and then uh, that's it then you will start your graph and there will appear a new for your browser like this uh, and then where you can create your own graphs so we will see them uh, just in a few minutes each of the step so I'm just skipping these uh, installation part and uh, uh, I'll just uh, um, move towards creating a database and uh, how we can create a database in the graph database so just uh, type new 4j and then open it will take a little time and, and yes uh, if there is a benefit of a graph database there is there is also a problem associated with it that 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 is that it's in in memory as it's in memory database it take a lot of space in the memory uh, so you need to be very careful about it uh, you should have uh, enough space in the memory uh, to open it you can see it's uh, very quickly occupying space so I need to close some softwares to make some space for it. So make sure have you have plenty of space to run it. Otherwise it will be uh, running on your smaller uh, space or few RAM space. So I guess it's fine. Now we can proceed. Okay. So to create a new project, you can uh, you you have to click here new, and uh, then click on add graph, and then go for local graph, and then you can name you can give it a name like uh, we can make a little uh, social network. Here, you can set a password. network for a lab so you can create a password just click create it will take a couple of minutes uh, when it will be running for first time after then that it will uh, run quickly so uh, make sure to click start first then we will move to the manage so click the start uh, when it will be uh, running here it will be uh, a status of running here then we will proceed make sure that it's in running condition with a green flag here then we will proceed yes now it's active and running we can proceed just click on manage okay so uh, this is how it uh, communicates it, uh, it shows you three types of ports and uh, IP address its IP address is localhost or 127.0.0.1 you can use this IP address as well as its port to 
to access it from the web okay so if you are accessing it from the web you just have to write there's a you, you just have to write one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and then colon and then seven four seven four it uh, is its uh, default port for HTTP and if you want to access it through HTTPS then 7473 okay well, the bold port is for its internal communication like uh, we if we want to uh, make it communication communicate with the application of, uh, or, or a Python program then we will use we might use the bold port okay so um, so we will just uh, we can just open the browser here it's also a chrome based browser it's uh, embedded here we can uh, uh, utilize it we can access it through uh, this embedded browser also so this is its inter interface here we can write the queries to generate uh, to create a graph or to access already uh, written graph so now comes the most important part uh, as all graphs have query language uh, to write a database and to access the data out of the database uh, and you know that uh, the most popular query language is called SQL uh, but the query language used for a new 4j is uh, called cipher Cypher is a very advanced query language. It's, it also it on, in, it incorporates all of the SQL features as well as it also incorporates programming uh, features as well, like variables, like loops, like uh, if else conditions, and uh, all of the uh, almost all of the programming constructs are there in the Cypher, as well as all of the uh, SQL constructs are also can also be used. Uh, within the cipher so cipher queries are uh, a complete program basically uh, that, that manipulates graphs so before uh, learning how to write a cipher query uh, let's see its uh, environment first of all new 4j's environment so on the top left corner you can see the database information here here you will see the database information when you will create your uh, database here when we will create nodes their labels would appear here and uh, their relationships would appear here and their properties would appear here so uh, when you click on here on favorites you see that this is a basic query of the cipher so we'll come towards it a little later and here are basically basic queries so this browser this new 4j browsers include all of the basic learning material within it and when you click basic queries here is hello world query so you can create a hello world node here you will be created you need to explore all of these and then very interesting thing it also incorporates uh, two complete graphs one is a movie graph this movie graph is basically IMDB uh, movie movies uh, it all it contains I, uh, the movies data from the IMDB and uh, it's very interesting graph we will see it later and also one more database North Wind graph uh, so you can explore these databases by your own uh, we will come to them uh, later on so um, here we have common procedures and then here we can uh, paste our cipher, cipher queries or we can import already written cipher file here we, we can save our cipher on a file then we can 
just drag that, that cipher file here to uh, load query over here and then you can also click here start learning uh, it also contains a lot of learning stuff and then uh, writing how to write the code and then how to then you you may have a lot of uh, tools to monitor your monitor the health of your system so when you come here document here you can also uh, get a comprehensive material on learning and the basic graph concepts basic cipher queries cipher syntax available commands keyboard shortcuts and a lot more stuff is there operation manual a lot of things are there so a cipher introduction is there so you can uh, just uh, explore them you should explore them so now uh, let's uh, make a note in uh, new forge so for that we will use cipher and to learn cipher you need to learn the cipher commands and its syntax 